after I had my third child, um, my hair started falling out, which was fairly normal, and the doctor told me it stopped, and it actually did not want to stop on its own, and my hair was getting really thin to the point that I had bald spots, and I didn't really know what to do, so I purchased the Control Hair Loss Forever ebook, um, just to try to kind of learn some more about hair loss, and it has taught me so much. As you can see, I'm not having any problems anymore. Um, once I actually learned what was causing it to begin with, it's gotten me um, to have my hormones back in balance and um, just a lot of good info to prevent and reverse hair loss in men or women. So I definitely recommend the Control Hair Loss Forever ebook. Welcome to this edition of Dental Connections, brought to you by Delta Dental of New Jersey, New Jersey's leading dental benefits company and its foundation. This series is designed to increase awareness regarding the connection between oral and overall health. Here is Dr. Douglas Keck, a participating pediatric dentist with Delta Dental of New Jersey. If you're like many parents, you probably won't think about taking your child to see an orthodontist until there's a need. The American Dental Association recommends that children's first visit an orthodontist for a checkup by the age of seven. That may seem young, but some problems develop between ages six and 12, and by identifying them early, you can reduce or eliminate the need for more extensive work later on. Early orthodontics can straighten crooked teeth, guide permanent teeth into better positions, and correct bite problems. It can even prevent the need for tooth extractions later on. How do you know if your children need braces? Look for these signs. Did they lose their baby teeth early or late? Do they have difficulty chewing or biting? Do they often breathe out of their mouth? Do they suck their finger or thumb? Is there crowding, misplaced or blocked out teeth? Does their jaw shift or make sounds? Do they frequently bite their cheek or the roof of their mouth? Do their teeth meet abnormally or not at all? Are their jaws and teeth out of proportion to the rest of their face? Today's braces are comfortable to wear. They're a combination of tiny brackets that attach to the teeth and wires that connect the brackets. Together, they guide the teeth in the right direction. The brackets are made of plastic, ceramic, or metal. Some are clear and nearly invisible. With braces, children can do almost everything they could before. They can play an instrument and play sports. An orthodontist can even fit children with a mouth guard that fits over their braces. The only thing children will have to avoid are foods and drinks that can interfere with their braces. How long will your child need braces? That depends on the teeth being corrected. Braces are usually worn for one to three years. After that, your child will be fitted with a retainer. Remember, the earlier an orthodontic issue is identified, the quicker it can be treated, reducing the possibility of more extensive work. Speak with your child's dentist for advice on whether and when to seek orthodontic care.